Today we're going to be programming two keys on a 2010 Dodge Charger and what we're going to do this should work on 2008 and uh, through 2010 with the Mercedes style key. So I called the local dealership and they quoted me $250 per key and $90 for programming and that $90 would cover up to programming three keys. So uh, $250, that's a lot of money. I wanted two keys, so we're at $500 plus $90 for the programming. But I'm going to show you, even if you buy a scan tool, this particular scan tool is an X tool. It's the D7. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. I believe it was $475 for that. But on Amazon, I was able to buy a pair of these keys for $25. So if we do the math, we're at basically $500 with two of these keys and this scan tool. Now this scan tool does way more than just program keys. I've actually programmed keys on three different Chrysler vehicles. One was actually a Volkswagen, but it still has the style key. And so if, you, if we're doing the math here, I'm already at $270 saved. Um, by using this um, and if if I bought two keys from the dealer we're at $590 with the programming and $500 here so we're already saving $90 not to mention this scan tool will do pretty much anything you need it to do so now that you have this information if you've ever needed an excuse to buy a bi-directional code scanner you're welcome so I'll put a link to this in the description below, but I just wanted to throw out the numbers there and you know, you can even justify buying something like this and buying two cheap keys over going to the dealership. I just want to bring you the information that I had. So we'll go ahead and jump into the video. On today's video, we're going to program a couple new keys, this 2010 Dodge Charger. And to do that, I'm going to use this X tool D7 diagnostic scanner. If you want to see more on this in future videos, just put that in the comments below. In the description, I'll have a link to the keys that were about $25, and I'll have a link to the scan tool. And the last time I checked, I think it was running $469. So we're going to go ahead and jump in the car. I'll show you how to program these keys. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug the OBD2 cable in. All right, so from the screen here, uh, we're just going to go to special. Actually, we're going to start the screen record. At this point, we're going to do special function, key programming, and we're going to agree. We're going to find our vehicle. All right, we got Dodge right here. While it's trying to connect, we're going to turn, well, we're going to select by vehicle. Sometimes you have to have the key on in order for it to connect properly, so uh, we'll see what happens with the key off. Select by vehicle, we are in a Charger, 2006 to 2010. So at this point, we'll go ahead and turn the key on. Now, in order to program the new keys, we need the, uh, the pin code. So we're going to read the pin code. So our pin code is 6641. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to program blank key. And just to show you that these keys are not already programmed, put the key in. And on the dash, I don't know if you can see, I've got a red security light. Uh, I'll try to start it. Nothing. Uh, and the other keys the same way. So we're going to go ahead and program a blank key. Switch ignition off, insert key, and switch ignition to on position, then press OK. OK. Enter security code, and it was the PIN code that we just got, which was 6641. OK. Okay, so it says number of keys is two, so we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to shut it off. Set this one to the side. 
We've got the other new one, so we're going to program blank key. Switch ignition off, insert key, switch ignition to on position, then press OK. Okay. And when you hear that tone, that's uh, letting, letting you know that it's programmed. So now we're done. And now we can shut the key off. This is the one we just programmed. We'll see if it works. So we'll try the first key we did. Okay. All right, and then we'll make sure we didn't lose the first key. All right, there you have it. I programmed two keys, $25. Uh, this scan tool is kind of expensive, but you can see here, we probably would have spent at least $200 at a dealership for this. Um, so you take that off the price of this, and this is only $269. And then you can use it for numerous other things. Like I said, if you want to see more on this diagnostic tool, Put it in the comments below, uh, maybe let me know what you'd like to see, and I'll be using this a little bit more in the future, um, relatively soon. So there, we programmed two keys. Uh, we probably would have spent over $200 at the dealership. I'm going to say that's at a minimum. I'll put in the description below, I'll call tomorrow and see if I can get a, a price on how much it costs to get two new keys made for this car. Uh, but let's say we spend $200. Well, you could take that off the price of this tool alone, and it goes from $469 to $269. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, I know if you don't have the scan tool, it's not really helpful. But that just goes to show how easy it is if you have a locksmith. Uh, they're probably going to program it very similar to this, and same with the dealership. So... Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next video.